What's happening, guys? Coach Bernard here. This time I have a new toy to play with. The I'll check that. Hit and Move Reflex Trainer. Big toys for big boys. So this is the hit and move boxing reflex trainer. There he is. I've had this for about, I don't know, April? I don't know, I had this for a while now. Um, it was mostly in my basement, but now I brought it to my gym and all my fighters love it, even the crappy ones. So I've had some time to play with this at home. That's why I'm so awesome on it. Hence the awesome montage beforehand and uh, no outtakes. Nothing, nothing too embarrassing happened to me at all, ever. Cause I'm that good. Try not to get jealous. Um, but anyways, they reached out to me, asked me if I wanted to do a review of this thing. So they did offer me a pretty good discount. Uh, I can share a little bit of that discount with you guys down over here. Never mind. As you can see, the main component of this thing is a swinging bar, and this swings really nicely, like really smooth. The swivel itself, I think they get it from like Japan. So, that's why it's so smooth. You know those Japanese and their smoothness. That doesn't sound right. But anyways, they do import these swivels from Japan and apparently the owner has tried out many different swivels and tried to get the one with the best rotation and he ended up with this one. Let's see. One, two, three, and a quarter. Well, especially from a punch. I forgot. There's this little extra padding here. The extra safety padding, which is good to have, especially if you suck and you don't want to get hurt too much. I mean, you still kind of feel it, but if you get hit with this thing, this iron rod, this is gonna hurt. Um, learning on this thing, I did get hit with it a few times. It sucks and it does really hurt, which is nice that they actually provide you with a little mouth guard to wear while you train with it. I mean, I have my own mouth guard and I have a nicer one, but the one that comes with it, it's still not, not too bad. It's something, it's not a crappy one. But this bar is not just like any other bar. Uh, it does have this little pad here, which is really different than the other bar trainers that are out there because what's nice about it, you can actually just use it as an extra target. If you do use it, make sure you know that it's gonna come back real fast. What I like about this one, sometimes, you know, I'm hitting the bag, uh, the padding, the head part here, and it gets a little lost here. I can just give it a nice little hook and get it back into rotation. So it's nice having this little pad here. I mean, I think they have models that come without the pad, but I think I like the padding over here. So I find a lot of use with it, and it actually comes apart pretty easily. Like this part over here, now the top part here is a nice little head rocker thing, I don't know what it's called. It's not like a cobra bag if you're thinking about that, because um, it's too short to actually come back at you. It's really just for practicing head targets. So, that's how far it goes back anyways. But this part does come off, so if you want to have it without it, it comes with like another cover thing that goes on top 
which I left at home. But that's okay, we don't need it anyways. We like this thing. But if you don't want to use the head target, it does have that option. It does have a little locking thing here, which I'm surprised how tight it actually holds it. It's just a screw that presses against the actual bar. I put it kind of tight and I still can't even move it. So, pretty good. Usually when I train with this, I like to keep the bar right at my shoulder, about my, at the top of my traps there. That way I can do shoulder roll. Boom, to the style. Now it doesn't stop there. This thing also comes with a body pad. It's a little low, uh, but they do have an attachment that goes over here. Not too sure how much that is, but check the website, I guess. So hitting it with this body pad, I do find I can throw in a little more creative combos. I can go for body shots, like I have here. And go for a boom, block. Oh yeah, right there. So it gives you extra targets to aim for, which is really nice because aiming at just the bar is fun and all, but after a while you want to be more creative. So this way now I have a body shot pad, a head shot, thingy majiggy, and the bar. So you can get really creative with the way you hit this thing, and you can try out some different stuff. I really do like this. I, the only issues I do have is um, the bottom here. The uh, water container thing. So with the bottom water base here, it is heavy. Like when you fill up with water, it's like super heavy. So I do wish I had a better way to grip onto this because when I do lift it up, I lift up from here and move it around. But not everyone is strong as me though, yeah. unfortunately. Bottom base here actually has has a little bit of foam padding, but I think you can put more foam padding because it was very thin, very little, and it just kind of scraped off as I transported here and there, moved this thing around. And also with the water, yeah, the water is actually, you fill through the middle here before you put it all together. There's a hole here. You put the water inside, which by the way, is really hard when I brought to my gym. So I had to get really creative with a pylon in the garbage can. Luckily we have a shower here, so I'm gonna use that. So yeah, there is a hole in the middle here. You do get like a little plug you put on top of it to close it. But I do wish there was something on the outside that I can use to refill more water. That would be useful too. Okay. Oh goodness, I'm old. Now as I mentioned, it does wobble. Like you put the bag here, padding the wobble there. But what is nice, they actually give you this. Nice little mesh foam pad. So I can use this, put it underneath, gives it some grip, and does help a little bit with the stability here. But it still, still wobbles a bit though. But despite the wobbling, the rotating bar still rotates really well, so you'll still have it swinging at you, so. Also, when you hit the uh, headshot here, it wobbles also. I mean, and that could partly because I'm super strong, so if you're super strong like me, which most of you aren't, then it will be problems for us. But it's not that bad. Overall though, this has been a delight to use. I really like using this. They keep asking me to take it out so they can play with it. Take it out. That sounds horrible, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, um, let's rephrase that. My fighters are always asking if they can use this to train with because I do keep this locked in our, in our gym closet here because we do have a kids class and I don't trust those kids. I'm worried they're gonna try to hang on this or do something silly. So, just in case it is out when the kids are playing, I did add a little sign. Let them know that this is mine. And no uppercuts, because if you uppercut the thing here, you might ruin it. No hanging on the bar and no being stupid. So far, so good. Um, no incidents yet. It's only been here for a month now, but it's still working, not broken. 
Good job, kids. If you have any questions about the reflex trainer, uh, comment below. They actually have a website where you, where you can go on and get tutorials and stuff. So that's useful. If you like the video, click like. If you want to see more videos just like this, subscribe to the channel. Catch you next time. Oh yeah, gloves. Catch you next time.